Normalism. What is that all about? When you think about it, it's quite simple. As part of medieval philosophy, it was created in the late 1300s by a man called William of Ockham. But we'll get to him in a bit. Nominalism is based around the idea that individuals exist over universals. Still confused? Let's simplify it. First off, let's start up by clearing what each of them mean. Universals are where an item is related to another item by a certain distinction. Such prime example is being green, such as grass, this man's backpack, and Kermit the Frog. But what William of Ockham wanted to know is not why these things are connected by green, but what makes them green. If you're still a bit unsure, let's look at the scene between William of Ockham and a friend to make it, you know, a better understanding to a 21st century human. Are you right there, Will? I was just thinking. Thinking about what? Everything we see is merely an existence of the mind rather than a group or universal idea. Like, everything is its own individual rather than together. Have you gone mad? <sighs> Think of it like this. See, Fluffy and Sammy are both cats. You know they're cats because that's what you think a cat is. But what I want to know is what makes Fluffy and Sammy both cats. It can be done with anything. What makes the sea blue? What makes a football round? What makes a circle a circle? Where does it come from? Where is this universal realm where a circle looks like a circle? That, my friend, is nominalism. Blackjack. Nominalism has been argued by many over the years, and it's still a big debate to this day. Many people agree with good old William of Ockham, many people don't. What do you think? <laughs>